SpaceX is in the final stages of preparing three Falcon 9 rockets for launches less than two days apart. The potential hat trick will most likely be the last chance for a Falcon launch salvo before the end of 2022. Welcome to Smarter Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at SpaceX targeting salvo of three Falcon 9 launches and latest updates you need to know. While the unofficial launch dates derived from regulatory documents or well-sourced public manifests were consistently close to actual launch dates for the majority of 2022, that changed when SpaceX began experiencing an abrupt increase in launch delays over the last two months. As a result, even if SpaceX confirms a Falcon launch date, it should be assumed that the trend will continue until it's clear that it has stopped. Nonetheless, all indications point to SpaceX and its customers proceeding with plans for three back-to-back -back launches before the end of the week. The Surface Water and Ocean Topography Spacecraft, a $1.2 billion joint mission between NASA and the French space agency, CNES, will kick off the diverse trio. Well, because of the COVID pandemic, which has and continues to affect large swaths of NASA and the aerospace industry, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory completed its portion of SWAT around 9% over budget and eight months late since mission formulation began in 2012. Several other NASA missions have experienced cost increases of 10 to 100% over a similar time frame, generally reflecting well on SWAT's management. SWAT, a two-ton satellite, is intended to conduct the first first global survey of all surface water on Earth by employing two large synthetic aperture radar antennas and a conventional radar altimeter. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket costing approximately $112 million is scheduled to launch SWAT into low Earth orbit no earlier than 3.46 a.m. PST on Thursday, December 15th. On December 10th, SpaceX successfully tested SWAT's Falcon 9. After that, the rocket was returned to the company's hangar at Vandenberg Space Force Base Space Launch Complex 4E for payload installation before returning to the pad on December 13th. Because of the light satellite and low target orbit, the Falcon 9 booster will be able to return to the launch site and land at SpaceX LZ-4 landing zone, eliminating the need for a drone ship recovery. Following that, another Falcon 9 rocket will launch the first two of 11 Boeing-built O3B M-Power communication satellite for operator SES as early as 4.21 p.m. EST on Friday, December 16th. Falcon 9 is set to launch the roughly 3.4-ton pair of satellites to a medium Earth orbit with an altitude of 7,825 kilometers after taking off from SpaceX Cape Canaveral Space Force Station LC-40 pad. The orbit into which the satellites will be launched by Falcon 9 is unknown, but the rocket's booster will land on a drone ship. A gravitas shortfall 700 km downrange, indicating that it will require as much performance as the rocket can provide. On December 11th, ASOG departed Port Canaveral, confirming that launch preparations are well underway. Finally, SpaceX's first Starlink mission since October 28th could launch as early as 4.54 or 5.13 p.m. EST on December 16th, potentially just 33 or 52 minutes after O3B M-Power. If the two missions launch on December 16th, which a reliable unofficial source has indicated is not guaranteed, they will break the U.S. record for back-to-back -back launches of the same rocket family. Russia's R-7 rocket family, which launched twice in 25 minutes in 1969, will retain the international title. Starlink 437 will launch from SpaceX NASA Kennedy Space Center LC-39A pad with its Falcon 9 booster attempting to launch on a drone ship. Simply follow the instructions. On December 12th, JRT-1 departed Port Canaveral. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Coming back to the topic, for the second time in less than two weeks, SpaceX postponed a Falcon 9 launch indefinitely after discovering apparent problems with a rocket less than a day before liftoff. The misfortune of Japanese startup iSpace is also the eighth time in less than two months that SpaceX has delayed or aborted a Falcon 9 launch less than 24 hours before liftoff for unspecified technical reasons. The streak of delays comes after a year of record-breaking execution in which SpaceX successfully completed 60 orbital launches with only a handful of last-minute technical delays. 
The number of last-minute delays and Falcon 9 launch aborts has skyrocketed in recent months, possibly indicating that a single issue or change is at least partially to blame. The streak began in early October and lasted until the end of November, resulting in eight delays over the course of two months with impacts ranging from minutes to days or even weeks. With the exception of one case, SpaceX's only explanation was a lack of time for data reviews or checkouts of the rocket, its payload, or both. SpaceX consistently announces launch delays on Twitter, making it possible to track when the company has stated that it is standing down from a launch attempt or now targeting a later launch date due to technical issues. SpaceX announced only three technical delays after publicly scheduling a launch between March 2021 and October 2022. To compound the strangeness, SpaceX reported at least 15 similar delays between January 2020 and March 2021. The frequency of technical issues should decrease as a competent organization gains experience with the operation of a complex new system. That appeared to be the pattern SpaceX was following, a significant decrease in the number of technical launch aborts while the pace of Falcon 9 launches reaches new heights. However, in the last two months, the frequency of technical delays has increased from near zero to higher than at any other point in recent SpaceX history. It is impossible to tell if there is an invisible thread connecting the recent string of delays without context. Workforce fatigue, management changes, policy changes, and factory issues are all possible explanations. It is even possible that the apparent sudden onset was caused by an intentional shift in risk posture, such as increasing sensitivity to off-nominal signals that were previously observed but discounted enough to avoid launch delays. SpaceX may have changed things too much or removed too many steps as part of its ongoing effort to improve existing systems and processes. While unlikely, the recent increase in delays could simply be a coincidence. Regardless, if the current trend continues, it will be difficult for SpaceX to increase its launch cadence any further, especially in relation to Musk's stated goal of 100 launches in 2023. Delays also increase launch costs and disrupt customer plans, incentivizing a quick return to smoother operations. Worryingly, a recent pair of unrelated launches have been postponed indefinitely. Starlink 2-4, which was originally scheduled to launch on November 18th, has yet to receive a new launch date after SpaceX allegedly discovered problems following a Falcon 9 static fire test on November 17th. After further inspections of the launch vehicle and data review, SpaceX has postponed a second Falcon 9 launch, Japanese startup iSpace's first moon landing attempt indefinitely. Finally, launch delays are an inevitable part of spaceflight and it is preferable to keep a rocket on the ground if there is any doubt about its readiness for flight. Nonetheless, significant changes in the frequency of delays are still notable, especially given that SpaceX typically does not explain the cost of delays for non-NASA missions. SpaceX has several more Falcon 9 launches confirmed for December, but it is still unclear how the indefinite delays of Starlink 2-4 and Hakuro-R will affect those upcoming launches. Following the launch of Starlink 437, SpaceX has at least two more launches planned before the end of 2022. SpaceX may launch its sixth transporter rideshare mission from Florida on December 27th, followed by two Israeli Aero C3 Earth observation satellites from California on December 29th. However, it's worth noting that in SpaceX Falcon 9 operations nearly 17 year history, the company has never launched a rocket after December 23rd or before January 6th. Transporter 6 and Eero C3, SpaceX 60th and 61st launches of the year, would have to break through that apparent barrier to launch on time. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. Before that, we'd like to know what are your thoughts about the future of Falcon 9. Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.